you probably had no problem getting friends when you were growing up, chosen ones. People always attracted to you. People always liked you. All right, but in this video today, we're gonna talk about chosen ones and relationships. All right, so family, stay tuned through this entire message. I got another powerful message for you, but you already know the deal. First, hit it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming a reality, and you can feel as if it is already yours. So happy Friday, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. Today is a great day, and I hope you all are having a blessed week, okay? So guys, chosen ones, check in, guys. Let me know where you are tuned in from down below. All right, I love to know where you guys are at. All right, and let's jump right to this message because I know that a lot of you can relate to this, okay? And I want y'all to stick with me here as we talk through this, okay? Stick with me because we're gonna go through a quick little timeline events, all right? And also, something else I need you guys to comment down below, okay? How many of you are going through a spiritual awakening? All right, how many of you are have gone through a spiritual awakening? You're either going through a spiritual awakening or maybe you are completely new to a spiritual awakening and you are now finding all this newfound awareness, you know, you're discovering more of who you are let me know below okay in the comment section say coach kev express words kb i'm having a spiritual awakening bro let me know okay now check this out timeline events stay with me now growing up okay probably when you were born okay even when you were born everybody around surrounded you okay as a new baby all eyes were on you growing up in kindergarten i all eyes were on you Okay, growing through school, it seemed like all eyes were on you, all right? Even though this was before your awakening, this was before you even knew that you were a chosen one, okay? Stay with me. All eyes seemed like it was on you, family, okay? It wasn't hard for you to make friends, all right? They came to you easily. They came to you easily. People gravitated towards you, okay? It's just like in that video that I talked about, okay? People gravitated towards you easily. All right, it was very, very easy for you to make friends, even your family, okay? Sometimes maybe, this is this is not for all of you, maybe some of you though, growing up, your family was just always around you. They wanted to know more about you. They loved you, they care about you, okay? But, now check this out. When you have gone through an awakening, everything began to change for you, okay? That's when things begin to purge off of your life. That's when people begin to fall away. And that's begin, that's when you begin to start questioning yourself like this and wonder, what am I doing here and what is what is really going on, all right? It wasn't hard for you to make friendships back in the day, Chosen Ones. Maybe for some of you, for it was, but for most, for a lot of people, it wasn't. For mostly for the Chosen One, it wasn't. You had a large friend. You had friends all over the world, maybe, everywhere, okay? Because you were a very popular person. You, it just seemed like you were like the power plant to your friendship group, okay? Have ever you, any of you ever feel like that? I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story, like, not about my friends, but my grandfather, you know, my first grandfather that passed away, my dad's father, uh, he passed away when I was 17. Um, I was in high school, but he was like the power plant to our family. He kept all of us together, right? It seemed like everywhere we, I mean, he was, he, he just, it seemed like the, the, the family just, the family glue was just together when he was around or when he was here. I know some of y'all may resonate with this and you may have that one family member in your family that is like the power plant in the family, okay? That was you and your friendship group. It was like whenever you went out, relationship wise, it was, it was they, they attracted to you, okay? You were the power plant, you, power plant. <laughs> you were the power plant to your friends, okay? Hey, where's so-and-so at? I gotta be where they're at. Where are they at? Where they, what they doing? I gotta see what so-and-so is doing. Okay, but after you had your awakening, after you discovered that you were a chosen one, okay, like I said, everything began to change for you. Now guys, check this out. After you find out that you are a chosen one, after you have gone through an awakening, whatever it may be, usually this happens after you've gone through some type of traumatic traumatic experience or something like that. Sometimes people just awaken just because it's just their time and God's like, boop, it's time for you to wake up, all right? 
There's so many different things that can happen. But what's crazy is that afterwards, after you are discovered to be a chosen one or after you have found this newfound awareness of yourself and God is leading your footsteps, he's leading your tongue, he's leading you where you are going and where you need to be. Check this out. Okay, you become super, super protective of your energy. We all realize that. Okay, at that point, back in the day where you used to have a lot of people around you, you used to hang out with a lot of different friend groups, it was easy. It was easy money to make friends, no problem. Because you were great with other people, because you are the chosen one. That's why everybody loves you and everybody hates you at the same time. After you have become awakened after you have found out to be the chosen one after you stopped doing everything on the same vibration as them so now that you are the chosen one well you always has been but now that you know now that you are awakened right you're very protective of your energy you're not going to just go out to no random club and just hang out with anybody okay you could have a rand you could have a friend Okay, and you and your friend, they're, you're very close. You and that friend are very close, but they could have another group of friends, you know, that are just extremely toxic, right? And maybe you go to meet up with that friend somewhere, maybe to get a drink, maybe I'll go to, you know, to get a coffee or something, but some of those other friends tend to show up, right? The ones that are extremely toxic. Now, on an energetic level, chosen one, you're gonna automatically feel it. You're gonna be like biting your nails, like, whoa, I'm a little uneasy, I can't be in this, in this place right now something's not right okay after going through that awakening your energetic field is going to be so strong okay you feel everything on an energetic level and that is why you have to be extremely cautious chosen ones with your relationships now that is why it's hard for you to just be friends with anybody and it's crazy because you're like what is wrong with me back in the day i still had the juice i i I have friends all the time. I have friends in Timbuktu. I have friends over there. I have friends over here. But now it's like, I'm a loner, man. I'm, a, I'm in isolation. I don't hang with nobody, okay? God is working with you right now. God is working with your life. You can't walk this path um, with a whole bunch of people beside you, okay? You gotta walk through the valley in the shadow of death and fear no evil, all right? Because if you fear evil, that's them friends that you hung out with. Them friendships that you used to have back in the day, right? A lot of those people are going to grow up to undermine you, right? To, to, to pull your hair out, to make you feel small, like you don't deserve anything. Okay. So that is why you are becoming more protective of your energy. And that is why chosen ones in relationships, woo, it's got to be extremely, extremely cautious. And we have to step, we got to like step our toe into the water to see if it's something that we can deal with. All right. Now, after you guys have figured out that you are a chosen one, after having an awakening, okay, it's going to be extremely hard to have in a relationship with somebody that is not awakened. I've seen so many people go through divorce because the husband, right, does is no longer sees the wife how he used to. She's now consumed to be or considered to be crazy. She's looked at differently because she thinks differently and it's not the same woman that he married. But she simply awakened. She simply received the wake up call and God is now leading her on her journey. Okay, so females, check in. Let me know if that's you. Okay, I've, I've one of my mom's friends, this happened to one of my mom's friends, actually. You know, she was, um, she was going through something and she was actually talking to my mom about it. She was going through her awakening. She was talking to my mom about it. And she was like, oh, you should talk to my son actually because he's going through the same thing. He's talking about the same things you are. And it's like, really? That's kind of crazy. Next thing you know, boom, they got a divorce. Because I did talk to her. I did I did talk to my mom's friend for a little bit and, and try to help her through what she was going through because she had no idea why she was feeling the way she was feeling. And I know a lot of you are probably feeling that family. Okay, so check this out. She discovered that she was a chosen one. She, she saw a new awareness in herself all right she started leaning on god more she started walking in faith more and check this out she ended up getting a divorce because her husband was no longer in the same frequency and vibration as her all right so that's why chosen ones and relationships you're going to be extremely cautious guys moving forward so family check this out for all of you new people that are here if you are going through a spiritual awakening okay if you're single or if, you've, or if you're in a relationship currently and you're going through a spiritual awakening and the other person does not understand you, okay? It's gonna be very, very hard. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna work out because eventually the other person could wake up, right? 
and they could and they could start moving on that vibration with you all right but check this out okay it's going to be most of the time though there's probably it's probably going to cause a lot of breakups all right a lot of mishaps a lot of arguments a lot of confusion and chaos simply because you guys don't see eye to eye anymore right your vibration is up here now your frequency is up here okay chosen one you're walking this path okay your spouse or whoever you're dating your significant other they're down here now because they're still in the matrix they're still in the programming mindset where you have broken free from the matrix you're not in that programming mindset anymore you can now see beyond the veil right you can see beyond the veil and when you can see beyond now you're starting to see the repeating numbers okay now you're starting to get like i said now you're starting to like see you quickly look to the side because you see something out of the corner of your eye and it's your ancestors or or one of your guardian angels that's literally watching over you okay the veil is thinning so your relationships is also thinning because god is separating you away from these people all right because you have to walk alone family we've already talked about this but you have to walk alone that's why chosen ones are going to be so protective of their energetic field they're not going to just let anybody in all right so if you are wondering why people are falling away from your life simply because of what you're going through some of the things that you're talking about they're shaming you okay family i'm here to tell you right now that's all you're on the right path you're on the right path it may not look like it it may look dark and gloomy it may look like nothing is happening for you it may look like you're losing all of your friends okay but that's how the that's how the universe works it takes everything away from you it makes you empty okay so that god can fill you up again you got to be empty in order for God to fill you up. All right. You're so you've been in in such a programming mindset, a programmed mindset of having certain things, certain relationships, certain friend groups. Life is supposed to go this way. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to walk a certain way. You're supposed to talk a certain way. You're supposed to work this job. You're supposed to do this. We've been like that our entire lives. Everybody's been programmed like that our entire lives. So what we're going through right now is new. This is new in humanity. What? Well, there's nothing new under the sun, of course, but. The whole world, not the whole world, but a lot of people are waking up. That's why you guys are discovering this channel. That's why you guys are saying, man, that message you put out, Express Words, it re I resonate. I completely resonate with that because it's crazy. I just lost a friend just yesterday. And guess what? God replaced it with a new one who now sees me as the true person that I am. They're no longer joning me. They're no longer joking on me, calling me names. They're no longer, you know, talking behind my back. I got a real friend on my side now. And now because I'm a chosen one, I'm going to attract the right people in my life. See, guys, that's the thing you have to realize is that after, like I said, after losing friends, okay, let them go. Bye. Let them go. Okay. Because they don't mean they're, they're, lo they're leaving your life for a reason. They're not on your vibration anymore. God said they can't come into the season with you because he's got a blessing for you. A blessing so big that those people over there, they were going to try to steal it from you. They were going to try to pull you down, chosen one. That is why chosen ones in relationships, okay? That is why you are protective of who comes around you. That's why God separates you before you even know it, all right? And then when you step foot into knowing, the knowing, right? Now you're in the knowing. I'm a chosen one. I know that I can create my own reality. I know that I am becoming the greatest version of me. I know that I am successful. I know that I am worthy. I know that I am abundant. Okay, now that you're speaking these things over your life, okay, as a chosen one, you speak it and things come to existence like that, man. Okay, because you have authority. You speak with authority. Okay, now that you have stepped foot into this, God is going to bring the people to you. He's like, you know what? I'm going to take these people away, but guess what? I'm going to bring more in. And I'm going to bring more in and I'm going to bring more in. And he's going to continue to bring people in for you that's going to be on the same vibrational level as you, which is going to help you to get to that next journey. All right, ladies, check, check this out. Some of y'all trying to start a business. OK, fellas, this goes for both of y'all. Fellas, ladies, y'all are trying to start a business. There's something you want to do. OK, but if you would have told that friend about it, OK, this is why chosen ones got to move in silence. If you would have told that friend about it, OK, they were going to undermine you. OK, they were going to plot on you and scheme. They were actually going to steal your idea before you got the patent done. They were going to steal it, get it patented and then act like they didn't know who you were. They were just going to walk away. That's not a true friend. 
okay that was an enemy scheming on you that was satan using that person as an enemy or using that per of course as an enemy to scheme on you and your ideas and whatever you're trying to do but check this out okay god removed them before that happened because he knew that your idea was going to prosper now that you stepped into the greatness god replaced it with new friends okay ladies you just found you went to a church group or something you did something you know you went out maybe you went out to a to a wine tasting or you went to the nail salon the hair salon okay your new nail lady your new nail tech your new hair so your new hairdresser okay fellas your new barber whatever well it's kind of hard for fellas we stick with one barber really y'all know what i'm talking about but check this out what i'm trying to say is is that god is going to replace it with that person that you showed up with they're going to have so much joy and happiness in what you're trying to create even though you're not trying to give them your i knew your your ideas of what you're doing because you don't want to fall back in line with that you've learned your lesson okay but you can see that they're good-hearted and god brought them to you for a reason and before i know before y'all know it y'all gonna be out hanging chilling you know what i'm saying y'all just having a good time and before you know it boom 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 you start talking business next thing you know they got a, they got somebody that can connect you with exactly what you need to move your business forward and they're not going to scheme on you. They're not going to treat you any type of way. Okay. They're literally going to be there to stand by your side to help you prosper. And that was nothing but God's doing. Okay. So that is why chosen ones, that is why you are super protective of your energy. And that's why when you get around certain people, all right, you can feel the vibe. Y'all can feel it. Sometimes, sometimes we just hang out. We're just like, nah, I'm not going out. I don't want to go out because I don't want to be out in society. I don't want to be in the crowd of a whole bunch of middle sweaty people in the middle of a bar who's drunk, who doesn't know what they're talking about. And all they're doing is small talk. All right. They're not talking about anything that's leveling them up, uh, leveling themselves up in life. Right. But, but when you fall back, right. And God starts to bring these people to you right then you start to see okay this vibe is right my energy's not disrupted it doesn't put me in a bad mood i'm at ease everything seems to be cool calm and collect unlike those people over there who was making me feel very uneasy okay they were very toxic all right chosen ones we don't do toxic people okay we stay far away from the toxic narcissist right <laughs> give it a thumbs up y'all know what i'm talking about we stay far away or at least we try to all right so chosen ones going through your life all right now that you know now that you have this newfound sense of awareness okay it's going to be hard for you to have certain relationships with people so be very mindful of that be very mindful of the people that you let in okay because some of them are, are some of them have that demonic spirit they're trying to get to you they're trying to get to something all right even though you've had that attractive light your entire life before you knew you were a chosen one like i said when before you were even born you had it you had that light all right and you always attracted people to you now when you step foot into the knowing all right you're gonna attract it even more and that is because your vibration is higher now you're doing everything possible to focus on your own personal growth and development all right you're focused on you you're focused on what you're trying to create you're focused on you're not focused on worrying about going out and doing what everybody else is doing every single weekend now you are creating your life you're trusting god and you're and you're taking a step out on faith you're trusting the process, all right? And you're not worried about uh, friendships and relationships and stuff like that. When you are a chosen one and then you meet another chosen one and y'all click like that and y'all have a, a wonderful relationship, it's going to be beautiful. You're going to have a knowing and it's going to be beautiful because both of you are chosen ones. Both of you are awakened and now you have something to really discuss and talk about. Y'all are on the same vibration. It's going to make life so beautiful for you, okay? So guys, remember, not everybody's going to be for you. A lot of people are going to walk away from you, okay? But that is because God has a plan, all right? We can't do all, we can't do all people. <laughs> Chosen ones don't do all people. You know, we love to help people. We love to, to be caring. You know, we love to um, be able to, to step foot out and be able to say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Let me hold your hand through this. Let me help you. Let me guide you through whatever it is that you're going through. But yet at the same time, we're like, eh, I got to protect my energy. All right. So you're very selective. And the thing is, is that after you become a chosen one, it's so easy to realize. It's so easy to pick that out because now your energy is so strong. Right. You could just look at somebody and just be like, nope, they're not for me. They're not for me. I could just I can just feel their energy straight up. They're not for me. All right. So, guys, if you have been having this issue. All right. Or if you know or if you are new 
to spiritual awakenings and you are starting to see this you're starting to feel this all right just know okay that you can't be friends with everybody now all right you cannot be friends with anybody so don't try to be don't don't try to fit in a lot of people after going through an awakening they try to step foot back into the into the matrix and keep one foot out and it's and it's like you're bobbling right you're going back and forth because it's like man i i I want to still be friends because it feels weird being alone and not and not having anybody to talk to and i still want to talk to these people if you continue to stay over here and talk to these people and do that all right you're not allowing for god to let you walk into and step into your purpose okay because you're not trusting the process you're not trusting what you're going through if god puts you through it he will see you through it all right if god puts you through it he will see you through it okay so trust the process family all right so that is my message today. Happy Friday, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Hope you have a great weekend, all right? Let me know where you guys are tuned in from and if this video resonated, family, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and come back for more inspiration and motivation every single week, almost daily, guys. All right, all right, family, take care. I love you and I'll see you soon. Peace.